But we thank God for the opportunity. Uh, Pastor, we thank you for allowing us to do this presentation this morning. And friendship, we thank you all for receiving us. So we want to make sure that we establish protocol. We give honor to God. We give honor to our pastor, first lady, and his family, to the deacons and officers of this great church, and to any clergy that may be present in their wives, in their positions, and to the ecclesia, the called out, the ones who have formally gathered here today, the believers. Uh, we thank God for that. But today we're here to recognize one of your very own, one of your youth who has separated herself from her peers with outstanding academic achievement. And so Mount Calvary, which you all are associated with, contributed to the fact that we were able to reward three students of Mount Calvary, 32 churches, we were able to award $500, $500 scholarships. Now I don't know about you all, but with the way things are now in the economy, I think that money goes along. Any a bit of money that you receive is, is a blessing. Amen. Amen. So friendship, y'all. Y'all should have clapped on that. But we want to thank you all because your contributions at the church made this possible. So give yourselves a big round of applause for that. Amen. So we did definitely want pastor. And we want First Lady, if they don't mind, I've been vaccinated, fully vaccinated, I feel good as well. So just want to make sure we put that disclaimer out there now. But we are in quorum deal, which means that we are in the presence of God, to, in His presence, living in authority, on the supervision of, to honor and glorify God. But we just want to recognize Lexus, who has, uh, has earned a scholarship. It was not given to her, she earned it, and she applied for it and she's a recipient of that. And she has, she's been an active as I walked in and I saw her standing beside her mother. Actually, I saw a first lady standing with one daughter on one side and another daughter on the other. It just warmed my heart when you see that our children are being brought up the right way, amen. So it just warmed my heart to see that. But we certainly want to recognize and honor her and present her with this check that's been burning a hole in my pocket, doesn't have my name on it, so nothing I can do with it except for presenting to this young lady who was going off to college. She has a scholarship, softball scholarship, and so this is gonna help get that new car or put gas in the car, put groceries in the refrigerator, because we know that every little bit counts and textbooks are expensive. So our prayer is that God will multiply this some 400 fold so that it will help. So when she think about, when she think about the goodness, she'll think about Mount Calvary, and more importantly, she'll think about her church because this would not have been possible without her support. So we just want to just congratulate her. Of course, we're gonna give the mic to her, and I'm sure she's gonna have something that she wants to say, but right now we'd like to present this check on behalf of our moderator, Johnny uh, Flakes the third of our moderator, also our vice president in his absence, Corey Neal and to the Mount Calvary officer, to the lady, uh, Mandrea Neely, who serves as our vice president. And we want to present this to you today. And we pray to God that um, it will definitely benefit you as you transition or matriculate into college. Amen. Congratulations. Yes, ma'am. Well, first, giving honor to God, who is the head of my life, I'd like to thank my church family because without you guys' support, especially through this last year with COVID-19 and my senior year kind of be, been disrupted, it's been hard, but um, I fought through with the help of you guys and with the help of my family, and I appreciate Mount Calvary and Dr. Flakes and everything that you all have done. know that pastor your pastor sits as an officer for Mount Calvary so at this time he's standing as a proud father so we know that that the proud father and we know the mother may want to have something to say as well so we would just want to hand the mic over to them and, and give them an opportunity to say a little something as well to God be the glory amen Thank God for Dr. Forte, and again, I want to thank God for Dr. Flakes for uh, the recognition of our young people, and I'm just grateful for Alexis, and again, as I've stated before, friendship with the prayers of the righteous, I know God will do for her uh, those things that she cannot do for herself, amen? So keep her in your prayers. She's going a long way off, but not too long that I can't get there, amen? 
And I've told everybody, if I have to, I, I would tear South Carolina up if something happens to my baby. Amen. To God be the glory. And so, Dr. Forte, thank you. So since she does have that scholarship, then she can just transition that $500 back to her mom and dad, correct? So that we can continue to get our payback for what we paid out. Uh, Pastor, we made sure that we put her name on the check. Now that will that will be that will be up to her, but her name is on the check. Amen. So she has to release authority on that check. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So again, to God be the glory. Thank you so very much. We're out of the way. Uh, we all give Dr. Forte and Alexis another hand of celebration.